and welcome to another teaching from TorahFamily.org. We are a family-based ministry that believes the whole Bible stands forever, that all of it is based in the Torah, and all of it promotes the Torah. Please visit us at TorahFamily.org for more teachings like this one. We hope this teaching helps you learn and grow in the faith. Men of Yahweh, Chapter 26 No Comparing The best way to get depressed or start thinking down on yourself is to compare yourself to others. When we compare ourselves to others, it means we're focused on others and we aren't focused on Yeshua. When we aren't focused on Him, it's easy to get off course. But as the writer of the book of Hebrews gave, we have multiple examples given to us in the scriptures of people who stayed focused and didn't swerve off course. After the author discusses those individuals in chapter 11, we read this in chapter 12. Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles, and let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us. Now, let's pause here for a moment. He just got done talking about faithful believers in chapter 11. Notice here how he says, throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles. That means there can be things in our lives that aren't sin, but they can hinder our walk just the same. It can be things like comparing ourselves to others. That means focusing on others instead of Yeshua. Verse 2 then says, Let us fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy set before him endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Consider him who endured such opposition from sinful men, so that you will not grow weary and lose heart. So the resolution to the previous problems in verse 1 was to fix our eyes on Yeshua. Think about that. What do you allow yourself to focus on? <laughs> there will always be something the enemy tries to throw at us to get our attention off Yeshua. One that many fall prey to is comparing themselves to others. It's so easy to do, and it's so easy to lose heart when we do so. So why do we do it? I suppose there could be a multitude of reasons. Wanting to be like someone else, wishing we had their gifts or talents, wishing we had their insight on this or that, wondering why we weren't dealt the same hand they got. The list could go on and on, and I do mean on and on. But we must remember the parable of the talents. Matthew 25, verse 14. Again, it will be like a man going on a journey, who called his servants and entrusted his property to them. To one he gave five talents of money, to another two talents, and to another one talent, each according to his ability. Then he went on his journey. The man who had received the five talents went at once and put his money to work and gained five more. So also, the one with two talents gained two more. But the man who had received the one talent went off, dug a hole in the ground, and hid his master's money. Why did the servant, who was only given one, bury his talent? Could it be he was looking at what the other servants received and thought he could never compare against them? We don't know. However, I believe this parable shows we should serve with whatever we've been given and do so with all our heart. When it comes to our responsibility and focus, it's irrelevant what someone else has been given to do for the kingdom. Our focus should be on what we've been given to do for the kingdom. Thus, what we read in Philippians chapter 2. Therefore, my dear friends, as you have always obeyed, not only in my presence, but now much more in my absence, continue to work out your salvation with fear and trembling. Work out your salvation. You do you. Focus on what you need to do. 
don't spend your time wishing you could do what others do. Focus your time on doing what He's given you to do. Whatever it is, no matter how small or insignificant you may feel it is, Yahweh has a purpose for it, and that means He has a purpose for you. Whatever it is, make sure you focus on doing it the absolute best you can. (laughs) Let me say that again. Whatever it is, make sure you focus on doing it the absolute best you can. If you do, one day you'll hear Yeshua say what he said to the servants who were given the five and two talents. That being, well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful with a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Come and share your master's happiness. Oh, what a day that will be. When we focus on Yeshua, he gives us hope. He gives us encouragement. He gives us strength to accomplish all he's given us to do. When we focus on others, we look at what they have and appear to be. When we focus on Yeshua, we focus on what He wants us to be. So don't compare yourself to others. Micro steps forward in Him are better than no steps forward at all. Small growth is still growth. Don't underestimate what He can do through you. It may seem small now, but you don't know your next assignment. You don't know the next season He has for your life. However, if you aren't moving forward in what He's given you now, you may never get to that next season. Please think about that. At the end of the Gospel of John, we see Yeshua telling Peter to feed his sheep three times. We then see this at the end of that conversation. John chapter 21, verse 20. Peter turned and saw that the disciple whom Jesus loved was following them. This was the one who leaned back against Jesus at the supper and had said, Lord, who is going to betray you? When Peter saw him, he asked, Lord, what about him? Now Peter was just given his assignment. He could have been thinking, feed sheep? Are you kidding me? Peter immediately took his eyes off of Yeshua and started looking at someone else. Then we read, Jesus answered, If I want him to remain alive until I return, what is that to you? You must follow me. What is that to you? What should it matter to any of us what the Father is doing in someone else's life? How he's blessing them? or how it seems they have it all together. The bottom line is, we should follow Him. We'll struggle to do a good job at following Him if we're constantly looking at others. We're all given different gifts, talents, and abilities for a reason. We all have different callings in life. We all have different people to reach. We're all unique for a reason. So don't compare yourself to someone else. It's not fair to you or them. Please take this message to heart. Don't compare yourself to others. We hope you've enjoyed this teaching. Now, it's up to you to be a Berean and study it for yourself. That's the only way to grow. Until next time, Shalom.